What's up guys, Justin here with TheSketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna go through and we're gonna replace some materials in a 3D warehouse model with external materials. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So if you remember about a week or two ago now, I put out a video talking about some different places to download materials for your SketchUp models. Um, so places where you could download new materials and bring those in. Um, in order to add to the SketchUp material library and start generating your own materials library. Well, what I wanted to do is I wanted to make a video showing you how to kind of import some of those materials and what to do with them, how to apply them inside of your models. So to start off, we're going to use a model from the 3D warehouse. This is the kitchen by Benito Dog. So if you want to look this uh, model up and download it and follow along, you can definitely do that. Or you can just go find a model yourself or create a model yourself. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk about maybe some ways to replace these materials inside of this um, the inside of this model. So for right now, I'm probably going to come in here and we're going to replace the flooring, maybe the uh, countertop material, and maybe this wall tile material. And so I will link to my video down below on multiple different places where you can download different materials in order to do this. In this case, I'm going to use the free textures from Polygon um, just because uh, they, they've got some pretty high quality textures in here and they've also got some free options. So um, in order to check that out, you can go to polygon.com. If you go under textures, you can see how this will list basically all of the textures when you first open this up. Well, if you scroll down to refine by free, um, you can look at their free texture library in here. They also have a ton of high quality paid materials, but we're going to focus on the free materials for this one. And so what we're going to do is we're going to download a couple of these different materials in here. We're probably going to download this uh, wood flooring mahogany material as well as the stone marble Calcutta material. And I think I also pulled down these tiles rectangular mirror gray. And so when you first click on these, what this is gonna pop up is this get, This is gonna pop up um, a number of different options for different maps and other things, because these are basically PBR materials. These are materials where if you click on each one of these, you can see how this comes with a bunch of different maps and other things like that for rendering. I'm probably gonna make a video on what each one of these do, but at the moment, we just wanna focus on one map which is called the diffuse map and so when you're dealing with materials like this usually the diffuse map refers to the image that's being tiled inside of your model so what you want to do is you want to uncheck this box and you just want to check the box for the diffuse map and you want to go ahead and download that and note that there are multiple different resolutions in here unless you are planning on rendering this material later. So if you need like a super, super high resolution image, I would recommend probably going as low as possible on this, maybe the 1K or the 2K, and just clicking on that download button. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna download this and note that this is free, so you don't have to pay for this particular material or anything like that. That's gonna download a file that looks like this. And so when you download these materials, they're gonna be in folders that look like this. And you can see how they're all zipped files. So I'm just gonna extract those. And I think the extraction tool is something that comes with Windows now, but I'm just gonna right click on this and click on extract all and just extract them to this location. And I'm gonna do that for all three of these. I'm just gonna extract each one of them to this location. And so now you're going to get folders for all three of these where you can open these up and double click inside them and you're going to go in the regular folder. And when you open this material up, you can see how it's just an image file that we're going to import into SketchUp. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into SketchUp and we're going to import these materials. And so I'm probably going to do this one at a time. I'll probably show you the first one and then I'll speed up the second two. But what we want to do in this case is we want to create a new material. So when we create a new material, we'll go ahead and call this wood floor. So we need to start by naming it. And then what we want to do is there's a box down here for use texture image. And so this is going to look different on a Mac. Um, I can't really help you with that because I don't have a Mac. But for the PC version, we're going to go ahead and have this box checked. And you're just going to click on this button for browse for material image file. And we're going to go find that image that we just downloaded. So I'm just going to navigate to my first 
floor item. So we're going to find this wood flooring mahogany and double click on it and we're going to go find that image file that we downloaded. So in this case this is a JPEG file. We're going to bring that in and we're going to click on OK. And so what that's going to do is that's going to create a new material inside of your model that you can then use to replace this existing material. And note that for right now this is just going to get brought in into your materials section in the in model section down here at the bottom. And so what I want to do is I want to double click inside of this group so I can find these raw faces. And I'm just going to use the sample paint tool to double check. These raw faces do have that old wood material applied to it. Well we're going to go into our in model section. We're just going to click and drag on this. We're going to go find that material. We're going to click on it. And we're just going to click on this face. And so the first thing you're going to notice when you bring this in is this is just too big. Um, the texture image is just too big. These don't look very realistic because they're super wide wood pieces. So what we want to do is we want to go into the edit section. We want to adjust this. And so you can see how inside of this edit section we can actually adjust the size of the tiling of the texture image. So I can select one of these, type in 10 feet, and then hit the tab key and you can see how that resized this image so that it's tiling every 10 feet instead of every 15 feet. And even that is probably a little bit big for me so I'm probably going to knock this down to about 5 feet. And one thing to note about this is you want to make sure that this uh, little chain isn't broken because if the chain is broken that means your aspect ratio of your image is broken as well. Meaning now if I change this to 10 feet you'll notice that my other dimension doesn't change and now all of a sudden we've stretched this image to twice as wide as it is long. So we want to make sure that we just maintain this link right here for lock and unlock your aspect ratio. So you can see how we, we were able to bring in this custom wood floor material and replace it inside of our model. Well now we want to do the same thing with our custom marble material. So we just want to go back in here and we're just going to create another material and we're just going to call this marble. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to browse for that material image file. We're just going to double click on that to bring that in. And this is our new marble material and we're going to go ahead and click OK. And then the same thing, we just want to make sure that marble material, we just want to find it inside of our in model section so that we know where it is. So now I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to find this marble material and in this case what I want to do is I'm inside of this group I want to right click on this and click select all with same material. That's going to find all of the mo the faces inside of this group that have that material applied to them and then I can just come in here and select my other marble material that I just added and just click on that and you can see how I was able to replace that. And this one actually came in at about the right size so you might have to go in and adjust this depending on how you bring this in but you can see how I was able to swap that marble material out really quickly. So I'll just do the same thing over here, select all with same material and I'll just replace that with my new marble material. We'll do the same thing over here. And so you can see how we were able to swap out that marble material really quickly. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to replace this tile material. So we'll do the same thing. Create a new material, call it wall tile, and then find your image. So we'll just select this click on this wall and you can see how we could swap out that wall tile material really quickly as well. And one thing you might want to think about doing is you might want to think about coming in here and using the position texture tool in order to position this so that uh, the grout joints line up properly on this texture. So you might want to think about just right clicking on this texture when you get into this raw face and just clicking on position and then just kind of positioning this down so that your grout joint is level with the bottom of your uh, counter right here. You don't have to do that, but it's just one more touch that makes, thing, make things, makes things look just a bit more believable inside of your model. I think if you guys are interested, I may do a separate video about saving these materials into a material library that you can access later. Leave a comment below and let me know if that's something that you're interested in.
So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Have you been using custom materials? Do you have any tips that you'd like to share? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.